Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner and today we're going to be playing with the Dancing Grim Etched Dies. I have to say that I love the Dancing and Swinging Collection, all the things from Spellbinders. They are just so super, super fun and they are so stinking easy to do. Actually, I just did a Halloween card class where we did three different Halloween characters with a swinging body or legs and the new Grim has a swinging body and this is the card that I made in that class. And yeah, it swings just perfectly. I absolutely love it. So I decided that I wanna make another one. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way. And we're gonna be doing this a little bit different. First off, the body, all of the mechanisms, it's gonna be pretty much the same. I've already die cut out a bunch of things, but I started thinking, you know, I think it would be really cool to have the background, basically a plain black background, covered with the little skulls. So I'm gonna attempt to put these guys on their strength. I think I had pretty much decided where I wanted them and we're just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna use all of these little skulls. So it's gonna have a skull background for our Grim Reaper to be in front of. Now what I'm gonna do, yeah, more glue, is layering up a bunch of my die cuts. I decided that I really like the way that it feels to have multiple layers on basically all of our elements. So I'm going to be layering up multiples of the skull and the cowl for our Grim Reaper's robe and all the things to make it more substantial. It's, and it's gonna look awesome. I also cut out this piece here. And I was actually just cutting around out the area around the cowl, so I wasn't really paying attention to the background. Um, I did cut it out of a couple pieces of heavyweight cardstock and it basically stayed in. But I did add a little piece of um, post-it tape on the back to keep it in place because now I want to add this to the top and then it's gonna cause that little bit of depth you know, behind this piece of fabric for where this skull is gonna be situated, right? And that gives us some really, really nice dimension. So now we can adhere our little skull, the one made with all of those layers, into that cowl. Now it barely fits, it's a kind of a snug fit, um, but I think that is actually pretty perfect. So I think he is gonna be super cute. Look at that little face. Awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and adhere all of our little bodies. Again, I'm just making this so the pieces are much thicker, almost like chipboard, and it's just so much so much more substantial and just feels so nice. Okay, so we've got those. Also layered, I'm also going to layer up some pieces for his uh, staff, and I just realized I haven't cut out the rest of it yet. We've got a piece here that his on his scythe, he is gonna have this nice little blade for his scythe. So let me go ahead and layer these guys up first, and then I'll cut out the metal part to go on it. And I probably cut out more than I need to here, but that's okay. Um, I also cut out a piece a separate piece out of some pattern paper that's got this um, dark, almost black wood grain on it. And I'm gonna put that on the top. So this is the die. This one has the two pieces of the blade. So it looks like there's a little bit of dimension there. And then we've got this little piece right here. This is actually part of his sleeve. So we're gonna be adhering that down in just a minute as well. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and add the pieces of the blade together and get them added onto our side because you know this first off the glue does not want to stick on mirror cardstock that's just the way it is the mirror cardstock kind of repels it probably because it is so shiny and glossy so it's going to take a minute for this stuff to stick well okay so i've got it down on there and then i've got to put some more glue on here so i can adhere my 
staff portion. If I can get it lined up right and then I'm going to put a weight over the top so that it has a chance to really, really hold it down. There we go. And now we're going to add our little sleeve. Now, when I did this the first time, I was thinking putting the sleeve... We've got a little embossed line there. So I was lining it up on the back, but you could line it up on the front. I'm not sure which way I like better. I kind of like the idea of it kind of being hidden. So I'm going to put it on the back again, just like before. And one of our little hands, it's basically the same hand twice. It's going to go on here too. So there we go. And the reason we have a second is we're going to have the staff nestled in there in between the two pieces of cardstock and that is going to be perfect okay let me go ahead and add this glue down and it does kind of make sense that we would have a thicker piece right here that way we don't have as much of a chance of anything coming apart as our little guy swings okay there we go so now we've got that bit layered up and then I can add my little staff right about there. So let's add a little bit of glue there. And I'm going to raise it up enough so that the bottom is about the same place as where our, the bottom of our robe is. So I'll add it right there and then I can add the little hand over the top. There we go. Okay, so what you can do, you can um, you can just glue everything together straight down onto your card base. I mean, how cute is that? Or we can make it so the little guy dances. I think that is kind of what I'm wanting to do. First, I am going to trim this guy up though and get the rest of our card panel ready to go. This part's going to be at five and a quarter. And then we're going to go with four inches. So now that definitely looks more like a piece of pattern paper. I think that's cool. I am going to, I am going to have him swinging, but what I decided I'm going to do, and it worked out really, really well before, is I want to have a backing behind our guys so we've got a little bit more to to work with and since I've got these I might as well use these this is going to basically give a little bit of space between our die cut shapes and our swinging mechanism so I'm gonna layer some of these up um, what I used in a past card is just use some circles you know just did some punching of some circles but I've already got these here so I might as well use them right And I think I'm going to just stick with, oh, let's, let's go with four. I was going to, I was thinking just three layers, but four will work too, I think. Won't be too thick. Most of this is lightweight cardstock, so it should be fine. Now I'm going to grab out a foam dot. That is where the magic happens. So just grabbing a foam dot and we're going to put our little, let me get some white behind here so you can see. Let's go with right about there. Let's take our little guy out. That should be about the right spot. I'm just going to put this foam dot right in the middle of that circle. And by the way, even if I happen to, which is possible, if I happen to have this piece that's in the back be too big and seen from in the front, I can always trim it down. Okay, just add our little guy's head over the top <laughs> and now he swings okay so now all I need to do is add some liquid glue to the back of this other piece and adhere that down I figure this is easier going ahead and getting the entire mechanism working before adhering it down onto my card panel because what if I screw up you know if I mess up I want to be able to just easily move it around. Okay, I'll put that right about there. So he's in the center. And we're going to let it dry for a minute. 
So I decided that the black is just mixed in too well, so I am going to give him a shimmery, shimmery robe. And I'm just using some Spectrum Noir shimmer pen. Now this is a pretty old one. It's been refilled at least once, um, which I am happy that there are refills for it. And this is going to give him uh, that little bit of a glittery, shimmery look over the top. So see if you can see that. Yes, I think that's going to look awesome. And since the back, I'm having it as matte, it's going to look awesome. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with his cowl. Oh, that is lovely. And his little body just swings right back and forth. Awesomeness. Okay, guys, I don't know if you know this about me, but I kind of like to play with these things when I start making them, which might be one reason why I don't do it that much. Uh, well, doing that, I realized that because his head is being held on by just that one foam dot, it's kind of not being popped up enough at the top. So I'm, or it's not adhered down enough at the top. And so I'm going ahead and adding that on there. And yeah, that I think is going to work better. So I don't have to worry about his head popping, anything popping off. Okay. I also decided that although I never do it, I don't normally do five by seven cards. This actually would look really nice in the center of a five by seven card. I just happen to have a five by seven card base. So I'm going to go ahead and add that down with some liquid glue. So I decided I want to give him little eyes. So I'm putting a little green gem from my stash <laughs> in his little eyeball holes. That's going to be super cute. On the other one, I used some, um, some little googly eyes and that worked perfect. But how about that? Is that cool or what? I'm also going to add a sentiment and this time I'm going to pop that one up on a little bit of foam. The sentiments I'm using are from the Better Press um, icons, I believe it was, because I made, I, I did basically only two sets of the sentiments and I still have plenty left and I've made, I've done over a half dozen cards. So anyhow we'll just add the sentiment right down at the bottom and that is gonna finish up this fabulous card using <laughs> the dancing grim love him love him love him isn't he just adorable and i just love that shine let me do that. okay now yeah, you can see it a little bit better um with one of the lights off so there we go okay guys you have a wonderful day be sure to check out this playlist to see more videos where i'm using spellbinders products including some cool spooky cards. You guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.